Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how to arrange a product CSV file with variant options. This will be helpful to you if you have parent products with multiple choices such as size, color, and more. Shopify will allow a maximum of three options to choose per product. I will be showing you how to use the minimum amount of fields based on the number of potential options your products may have. Let's start with a maximum of one product option. For this example, we'll start with a blank CSV file. The first thing that you'll want to add is the title header in your first column here. What you'll put here is the product name. So let's just say that I have a pair of blue jeans. And what you'll want to do is copy and paste that for as many rows as you need to say that you have that many uh, of that particular product in different sizes or different options. So for this example, I have five versions of the blue jeans. Now what you'll want to add is the option one name and the option one value column. What these will do is it will indicate to Shopify in the option one name what the customer is actually choosing. So in this case, I'm going to put size and copy and paste it all the way down because we're always choosing a size for the blue jeans. Now for the option one value, what you'll want to do is put the actual values of the size for this blue jean. So I'll start with size zero and work my way up to show any available sizes in that blue jean. So now what I've created is a parent product with the name blue jeans in five different sizes. Let's go through another example with one option. So let's say I have a wool hat. Again, I will copy and paste that multiple times in the title field so that Shopify will know that this is a parent product and it has multiple options. I'll have to tell the system in the option one name what, what the customer is actually choosing. So we'll put color copy and paste that, and then we'll go ahead and in the option one value field, we'll put in those colors. So now I have three versions of this wool hat. Now let's just say that in the same CSV file, you actually have products that are standalone products. That's totally fine. What you'll do is go ahead and put in the product title. If you leave the option name and option value fields blank, the system will understand that it's a standalone product without any options. And then you can go ahead and use those fields again when it makes sense. So let's say I have a lip gloss here. We can create that with option one name and option one value and then proceed with that. After you've arranged your titles and your option one names and values, you can go ahead and use the following columns for all of the other fields that you need. So things like price, uh, brand name, things like that. For this example though, for the sake of time, we'll just focus on arranging the variants. Let's move on to look at the two option example here. Again, to speed up the tutorial here, I've filled out the titles. When we have multiple options to choose, we'll use option one name, option one value, and option two name and option two value. So what you'll do is for this rank short, let's just say that we are always choosing a size and color. So for the option one name, the customer will first choose a size and I can copy and paste that for the running shorts. And then we can go and fill out the color values, or sorry, the color name, because that is what the customer will be choosing as the second option. So we can go ahead and fill up the sizes. So let's start with three, four, five. And if the three, four, five sizes come in red, we can copy and paste that. So now we have three combinations for the red 
and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the sizes three, four, five, but this time in black. So what we've just created here is the parent product of running shorts. The customer chooses a size and color, which is indicated by the option one name and option two name. And then the values are three, four, five for the size, and then red and black for the colors. You'll have to go through and make every single combination that exists. So be sure to list all the sizes and all the color combinations that it comes in. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the logo flag. So this one, uh, for this product, you can choose a color. So I'll copy and paste that under the option one name. And for this particular product, we can also change the material. So in this one, we have yellow and another yellow one and that is plastic or cloth material and we also have a red one in cloth as well. The next item here is a water bottle. This doesn't have any options so I can go ahead and keep that blank for all of the option one, uh, sorry the option name and option value fields. And for the cool sunglasses here if there's only one option to choose which is color what I can do is fill out that particular field for the option one name, put the correct values beside it. And if there isn't a second option to choose, that's totally fine. You can leave that blank and Shopify will know that the cool sunglasses here will only have one option to choose from, which is color. You always want to use the first option name and option value fields. You don't want to put these values in option two name and option two value because option one isn't used yet. You always want to use them in order and that's very important. For our last example here, I have pre-filled all of the information. So we have the baseball bat with size, color and material that you choose. And as you can see, I've just repeated the same process that we were looking at in the last two sheets, but we have option one name, option one value, option two name, option two value, and option three name, option three value. The chewing gum here has no options, so it's leaving everything blank. And for the jaw guard, we only have one option, so we've used the option one fields over here. And for the arena, arena padding, we have two options, so we've used option one and option two fields. Just as another note, it is important to know that any parent product has a maximum of 100 combinations. So if this arena padding had its title repeated 100 times, and you had all the combinations following that, that is a maximum that you can import into Shopify. If it's anything more than 100 combinations for any given parent product, that product will fail to import. So it's important to keep in mind that there is a 100 combination limit for each parent product for all of its variants. I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a great day.